Transformers are extremely important in electrical power systems and are found everywhere. They come in many shapes and sizes and they do many different jobs from changing voltages to stopping radio interference in your favorite appliances. Transformers use an iron coil to transfer magnetic energy from one coil to another through magnetic induction. The iron coil is made in different ways. This is made up of what's called steel laminations. There's a, a bunch of plates of steel all sandwiched together to make up this core. Another use for iron is powdered iron. Now this is a similar to ferrite, however it is just iron broken up and mixed into a polymer and then compacted together to form a uh, torus here. Hi, my name is James and I'm an optical engineer. What we do here at SkySight is we fly high definition cameras. So what we have sitting in front of me is uh, a multi-copter, or more accurately, an octocopter, because she has uh, eight DC motors on her. So we take a copper wire and wrap it around a ferromagnet, or iron in this case, and put a current through it. And that current creates an electromagnet, which produces a magnetic field which when placed in the presence of another magnetic field, which you can see permanent magnets on the housing here, creates a magnetic force. And that magnetic force is turned into a torque, which then spins the motor. Tesla Motors is revolutionizing the automotive industry. Kind of unique in the rear of Model S, you see the electric motor here on this side, and power electronics is all here on this side. These are all liquid cooled, they're all shrink wrapped right between the uh, wheels, the rear wheels along the axle of Model S. So the motor consists of two parts, the rotor and the stator. So you have your aluminum, you have your steel, and you have your copper. We use steel laminations, which are made with iron. Your copper is actually what creates your magnetic field around your rotor. Your steel laminations here actually concentrate your magnetic field. The only points of contact in the motor are the bearings. There are no brushless. It's a full brushless AC motor. It puts out 290 kilowatts. It's a four-pole, three-phase AC induction motor. Some roller coasters use linear motors so that the ride can be started and stopped anywhere. The job of the roller coaster designer is to find the acceleration settings that give the most fun. Like every motor, the linear motor has two parts, the stationary part and the moving part. Both of these parts have magnets on them. On the stationary part, you have a long sequence of magnets. Now the motor designer's goal is to make sure that you arrange the currents in all of these magnets so that a north pole is always attracting a south pole, or a north pole is always repelling another north pole. And by switching those, the currents in the magnets on the moving part and on the stationary part, you develop the magnetic fields that propel the moving part along the track. Generators are a lot like electric motors, except they work in reverse. The rotor is made to move against the magnetic forces creating electricity. Just one generator alone may use many tons of iron. The great strength of steel holds generators together and it is also necessary for the entire rest of the grid, holding up power lines and making for strong antennas. Hi, my name's Jermon. I'm a musician. The first thing I'll talk about is how you can get a guitar to make sound.